Okay, so some of you have probably already read my blog article about how to understand your favorite TV series in 30 days. This was based on my success with Japanese. I was uh, interested in understanding a Japanese anime series called Hikaru no Go and I managed to make really good progress towards that in just 30 days. I was able to watch the series in Japanese at the end of that time and I'm really really happy with that so I wanted to share my method. Now my blog post only explains how to do it. I mean the tools, how to use uh, this one program called Subs2SRS which is a bit counterintuitive but it, which is really really awesome pro uh, program. Also Anki, how to study a, a bit of uh, daily planning. And now in this video I wanted to give you some extra information and that is to, to show you how this might actually look like uh, when studying. So I'm going to show you a few cards from my early days of uh, studying this uh, this deck about Hikaru no Go. Um, to study in Anki I usually like to use uh, this kind of uh, mostly white background so that I don't have the distraction because if you see you have this blog post in the background and then you put the Anki over it uh, your eyes will always try to read uh, some of the words here and it can be really distracting so to study Anki I go to a blank screen and uh, oh I use this task list extension which is also really awesome for Chrome called things to do anyway it uh, also serves as a white background when I need it I just need to place the Anki window exactly over it and then I can study <laughs> Okay, this is um, part of my strategy to have a lot of sentences involving the word to play because it comes up a lot in the series to play Go, Go, uh, this ancient board game. So I I did this on purpose. Uh, I found a whole bunch of uh, sentences all with the word play. Not too difficult sentences, not very complex, but all invo involving this word and it allowed me to learn other words that go with it or just um, words that come up like sometimes, uh, sometimes play, I rarely play, I want to play, I, I haven't played in a while uh, all this kind of sentence um, so I use the word to play as, as a means to learn other vocabulary The difficulty is that if you don't actually speak Japanese then you may find this kind of sentence, you can play Go, and then actually uh, the uh, the word play, Uteru, is um, hard to, to recognize here in comparison to the previous one, Uchitai, because it's a, it seems like a different stem, it's not. Um, but basically you probably want to move the sentences that you don't quite understand how they work uh, to the end of your learning. Uh, till you understand a bit more of Japanese uh, grammar. There are a few things that will come up a lot and that you'll re learn to recognize really quickly, like in this case, uh, Gokaijo, the Go Salon. <laughs> this is really why, why I love uh, studying uh, sentences like this, because uh, Adding movies, using movies for your flashcards really adds a lot of emotion and uh, the emotion helps you to remember better. So in, in this case it means uh, Ikitai, I want to go, <laughs> I want to go so bad and uh, it's really funny and I will never forget this uh, Japanese phrase anymore. Uh, one of the issues that you may hit is that uh, you have Japanese sentences that don't correspond to the English translation or don't seem to correspond like in this case where you just have one word uh, one particle and in English you have a full sentence do you want to reply so what you want to do is uh, to either understand how this kind of sentence works just to see that this is uh, uh, the reply and that somehow the Japanese sentence makes makes do without do you want to 
or if that's not possible, if you cannot figure out how the sentence works, uh, remember you can use Google Translate to help you understand each single word in the sentence. If it doesn't work out, then you just suspend the card uh, or delete it even, uh, just as uh, you would do with cards that are too fast or not understandable or too complex or just not plain useful. Um, you can delete at will and I, rec uh, I recommend a really uh, extreme attitude towards deleting. Delete everything and anything. If you have a TV series you will have thousands of cards, uh, typically 10 cards per minute, so you can afford to delete a lot. And in this case, if you don't delete it, if you actually figure out this is uh, the reply, then it can be quite useful because you have a card that's just one word and it helps you understand what's going on and later you can find other sentences that also involve the word to reply and you can learn other words through that. So I really recommend not learning every card in order, but uh, to uh, go through your deck and set a few um, tags like learn, set tag learn and then only learn the cards that have this tag so that you only learn uh, easy enough cards. You really want to filter your input. So this is a card for example that I learn. Let's go after him. Right now um, these are pretty easy sentences. On the other hand, when you don't want to reply, just do that. Um, this is a really complex sentence in Japanese and I didn't w learn it at that point yet. So that's the idea anyway. I really hope you can try out this method. Just find your favorite TV series. Maybe you want to learn your language with Star Trek. Who cares? Whichever, whichever floats your boat. And I hope that you make really good progress. Do, do check out the blog post. See you soon!